So I have a series on my channel where I find real life stores and turn them into buildings in Bloxburg. And so many of you guys were recommending me to do a 7-Eleven. So in today's video, we're going to be recreating 7-Eleven in Bloxburg. And before the video starts, we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers on our second channel. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe with the link in my description for a chance to be in a future video. So I've already mapped out the floor plan of my 7-Eleven. It's not going to be too big because, well, obviously 7-Elevens aren't like the Palace of Versailles, you know? Boring. Yawning. Lazy. It's only a cute little convenience store. I should probably tell you guys what's going on in here. We walk in here, we have like three storage units, so maybe we can have toiletries, food, chips, and then this section is going to be a coffee station. Here we're going to have some fridges, and then to the left, a slushy machine. Because whenever I go to a 7 Eleven, I always get a slushy. Get in my belly! And we might even have some hot dogs as well. And back here is going to be the cash register, storage room, and then two bathrooms. So yes, very, very fancy. Okay, so step one, wall trims. Step two, pillars. So the doors and the windows, we're just going to use commercial because every 7-Eleven always has these doors. They always have these windows. You know, I actually don't mind commercial windows. I didn't used to use them before, but I think they actually look good when you use them correctly. And so far though, this is looking like a school. So we need to fix it by adding a roof up the top and dragging this up a little bit and kind of bringing it out. Bringing it out like this. Beautiful. Okay, so this is what a 7-Eleven looks like. The signature color is orange, green, and red. So I want to do the same thing up here, what they done on their roof. Here's the, how are we going to make this work? I'm thinking out of square beams, and we place them in three like this. And then you paint them the 7-Eleven colors. Ooh, and I mean, hey, that kind of works. Oh my god, when my building hacks actually work, who would have thought? Not me. I am too smart. I am too smart. The only thing with using standard square beams is that they are so expensive. Very? <laughs> Every time I have to use square beams in a build, my bank account just starts shaking in fear. And I mean, you know what? That actually looks kind of cool. The only problem is we're going to have to do it on the entire roof. Why did they choose these colors though? Why couldn't they choose like pink or something? Like imagine going to like a cute little pink 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'm not kidding, by the way. Every time I go to a 7-Eleven, I always run into someone I know and it's so awkward. But were the square beams expensive? Yes. But was it worth it? Also, yes, because that actually turned out really cool. I want a very clean 7 Eleven. You know, when you go to a 7 Eleven and it's like gross and the toilets are like disgusting? No. My 7 Eleven is not going to be like that. And then to let people know this is a 7 Eleven, darling, we need a decal up the top here. Okay, so this goes right up the top. <gasps> Perfect, 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 perfect. You know what would be kind of cool? If I outline the top bit with LED lights, because if it's going to be nighttime, you're going to want to see the sign. For example, this is the before and this is the after. I think the after looks pretty nice. Now, just to decorate the outside of this 7-Eleven, kind of want to have like an elevated front section like this. Oh, wow. I love measuring things up properly. That's just, that's great. Or well, maybe we could have like an extended footpath like this. Instead of like a regular car park, these two sections here can be parking lots. And then we can have a cute cute little garden. It's probably a good idea having a footpath here anyway because if someone's like speeding through here and someone's sitting there. I can't believe I've never built a 7-Eleven in Bloxburg. Could you guys believe that? I've built so many things in Bloxburg but never a 7-Eleven. How bizarre. Now if you go to a 7-Eleven they usually have a massive sign at the front. Can you hear my cat right now? I just let you in. Fine. Come on. I'm not letting you back out though. I'm not kidding. Literally every single time I hit record, doesn't matter if she's sleeping, doesn't matter if she's like overseas, doesn't matter if she's like in a completely different room from me. If she hears that I'm talking, she'll get up and start crying for me to let her in. Are you serious, Samira? She just knocked a plant down from my desk. You're so naughty. Not many 7-Elevens have outdoor seating, but I feel like it'd look nice. And we can't forget our dumpster at the side. A few dumpsters, actually. I always had a fear that I'd fall into one of these as a kid. I had weird fears, okay? Oh, we also need an ATM machine. However, Bloxburg does not have ATM machines, so we're gonna have to do the good old fashion custom making. All right, so not one horizontal wedge, but two horizontal wedges. And then another cube. And kind of adjust the height so it all matches like this. And then ladies and gentlemen we go into electronic and add this very very sketchy looking computer right here a few of these taped photograph and then all we have to do is color it and there we have our little atm machine <laughs> it doesn't look like an atm machine right now but you know what just give it time oh my god what is that oh my god what is that 
I kind of want to have the open sign right here. However, we can't place things on top of the door unless we're using a cube, which is very annoying. So I have to resize it so it's very small. So then this way, you can place the sign on top of the cube and you can add it wherever you want to. See, if I want to have it on the door, I can have it on the door. And I'm also going to do the same, but like along the windows so I can have some posters. Guys, what's the bet? Next update. Bloxburg will change the ability so you can place posters and paintings on windows and doors. <laughs> Bloxburg would do that to me. Probably watching this video right now like, oh, that is a good idea. So last post down right there. We've got the outside of the 7-Eleven. So now that the outside's done, we can finally start working on the inside, which is what I'm excited about. We're going to try and keep the inside very clean and minimalistic as possible. So white walls mixed with white ceiling tiles. I think the first thing I want to work on is the storage unit. So I think we're going to use these heavy duty shelves. I feel like I said that wrong. Duty. Duty? Duty? Or actually, I'm going to change it to these wire metal shelving units because I feel like these are less cluttered and there's something that I would actually see in a 7-Eleven. And then back on this floor is where we were going to have all the fridges. Not any fridges though, these commercial fridges. Because these are fridges, maybe they should have um tall glass doors here. As a kid, I would always be like, what's behind a fridge? I want to go to there. I was so curious as to these spaces. I'm like, who's hiding behind there? I need to know. Okay, the reason I put a cube up here is so we can place all of our paintings. Maybe this can have some 7-Eleven posters. And then in this little two by one, this is going to be a coffee station. Like, you know when you go to a 7-Eleven, they have like the coffee station. Also, I need to know if this has happened to anyone else. I have like seven cars in my inventory, right? They're nowhere to be found. I have gone through like all of my plots. I cannot find them for the life of me. And I'm convinced Bloxburg has just gotten rid of them. Okay. Bye. Okay, we can have a mug here for someone making a coffee. Okay, we can have our napkins here, our straws. I'm pretty sure Bloxburg also sells cup dispensers. Ah, perfect. And then the last thing we need on the coffee station is all of the teas and the sugars. What I do to make this look like a coffee grain is use lush grass in like dark toupee and it looks like coffee grains. And then voila, we have our little coffee station. Oh, maybe to the left here because this is empty. What if we had pizza boxes? One of you guys actually taught me in the comments if I get a pizza box and I close it, then I can place it in here and it'll look nice and neat. So that's what we're going to do. Next to the coffee station, we can have our pizza. I actually had pizza last night and it was... Scrumdily yum yum my purr purr. Last time I actually ordered pizza from a store, like actual pizza, was like six years ago. I have not had like McDonald's or any fast food. Because I mean, as some of you guys know, I've got celiac disease, which means I'm allergic to a lot of things. But yeah, how insane is that? I can't eat this, but how exciting is it to smell it? Also, we have some empty space here. So I feel like it's only fitting if we add another table. I feel like we need a feature wall somewhere. The lack of color is scaring me. <laughs> so the coffee station's done. Now we can start filling in these shelves. So on this section here, we can just stack this with groceries. Stacking groceries. Ah! <laughs> that scared me. Stacking groceries in Bloxburg is so fun. Who would have thought? Like, look at these little jellies. I don't know why Bloxburg doesn't have that many groceries because I don't know what else to add. We're making custom made groceries. Will it be expensive? Yes. Will it be worth it? Yes. All I do is place a transparent cube, a two sided transparent decal, and let's say we want some chips. I will just type up chips. Say we got some lays, and then we can place this at the bottom. And we can do the same down here, but we're going to change these decals. So don't worry, they're not all going to be lays chips. I'm not a complete psychic path yet oh we got some ketchup bottles why don't i not add these of course we can't forget all our little sauces what do we need we need tomato mustard i forget barbecue sauce so i'm sitting there barbecue sauce on my <laughs> <laughs> this is a very serious question listen up you guys prefer tomato mustard or barbecue sauce if you said mustard you are incorrect all right that's the two storage units all done and then on these little storage units one of them is going to be all like the convenient stuff like toothpaste and hairbrushes and then the one over here is just going to be copied from this one $20, lord have mercy that is very 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 expensive I'm broke. do you guys remember back in 2020 where everyone would fight to get toilet paper that was scary i remember there was a time where i was like i'm gonna poo without toilet paper there's no toilet paper. Sorry, that was so gross. I need to- sometimes I just need to shut up. <laughs> Aw, Bloxburg has little toiletry bags. This is kind of cute. My question is why did Bloxburg have like not one, two, three, four, five dishes of soap? I don't even think we have that many groceries. Nope. Yep. Like, Bloxburg, why do we have so much soap? Oh, and we can't forget our toothbrushes and all of our shampoo and conditioner. Oh, can't forget our deodorant. Don't want to be stinky, do we? Haha. <laughs> 
No. Okay, so there is our convenient store. <laughs> what is this called? Bathroom products. So we're just going to copy this. Because I'm not to be bothered to replace the old thing again. So voila. She's stocked and ready to go. Now over to the left here. This is where we're going to have my favorite machine. AKA the slushies. Cabinets. Cabinets. Where are the cabinets? I'm literally looking right at them. I swear, guys. It's not even funny. I think I'm going blind. <laughs> also, you know how in 7-Elevens they have um cabinets above the counters. And they have like the microwaves in it. That is what we're going to do. Why is the 7-Eleven looking so fancy though i wanted to like mix it up a little bit and do like a dark modern wall how many slushy flavors do blocksburg have by the way you know what i'm pretty sure it's five so we're gonna have five slushy machines we're gonna have all the flavors up in here and then the rest of the storage can be for cups and straws oh this is making me want to go to 7-eleven right now and buy a slushy <laughs> Like raspberry slushy right now. Oh, yes, please. Okay, all of our cups can go here and then the straws can go down here. Okay, there we have our coffee machine. Coffee machine. Coffee machine. So the next thing we're going to do is the front counter. I think we're just going to use basic counters for this and put a door here so people can't just break in. Even though, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just jump over the fence but oh maybe we can have some tvs up the top here okay that's kind of a good setup for the counter and you know when you go to 7-elevens and they have these cases at the front with like little cookies and chocolates and that we're gonna do the same thing oh we can't forget newspaper you know how people come in they're like can i buy today's newspaper please do people still do that like i don't think i remember the last time i saw someone read the newspaper the last thing we need to do is the storage unit and the toilets i think we're going to do the storage unit next wait i just thought of something so cool what if we have a roller garage door at the back so then when we get deliveries they come straight through to the back of the storage unit like is that smart or is that smart so we're gonna have a stack of crates and these new boxes that blocksburg added to the game i like to do a little try triangle formation like i'm abby lee miller and these are my dancers what am i saying we can have these little caution when wet signs just in case things get wet credit card wait what i need to see this up close bank of blocksburg oh i'm gonna steal your credit card information blocksburg okie doke well i think that is the storage unit all done so then the next thing we could do is the bathrooms i am so fussy when it comes to like going to the toilet in bathrooms i'm not kidding okay listen hear me out i'm not kidding whenever i go to a public bathroom get back it's like i'm Vomit. I'm not kidding. Whenever I have to go to a public bathroom, I will always place toilet paper on top of the toilet lid and then I will go. I don't need to know about that. You keep that to yourself. And we've also found ourselves with, yet again, another empty space. So this kind of works out perfectly because I have this massive drink machine. And there we go. So bathrooms. These bathrooms are so unrealistic because let's be honest, when was the last time you went to a 7-Eleven? The bathrooms were this big. Instead of having a women's and men's bathroom, we're going to have a commuter bathroom and a disabled bathroom. And because the commuter bathroom bathroom is so big we're gonna fit two toilets in here instead of one i'm just ken i'm so annoyed the barbie movie came out like nearly seven months ago and i still have the ken song stuck in my head <laughs> like get out of my head what do you want from me stop this madness what do you want from me what do you want? I'm just using the basic doors because I don't care. No one looks at these doors. I remember in one video, I spent like five minutes trying to figure out what doors I want to get and how I want to color them. And then I'm just like, no one cares. Okay, so there we have our communal bathroom. And lastly, we need the disabled bathroom. The only difference with the disabled toilets is that there's more accessibility and people who have reduced mobility find it much easier to go to the bathroom. So we can use things such as grab bars, a mirror to, you know, check ourselves out. I literally say that every single time I add a mirror. How are you guys not sick of me yet? If you're watching this video like, um, we are actually sick of you, babe. And I mean, you know what? We might might as well add a little shower in here just in case. I know 7-Eleven doesn't have showers, but you know what? Who cares? I'm adding one. Okay, so the bathroom done the 7-eleven is all complete and comes to a total of two hundred and three thousand dollars which is a lot considering how small it is it kind of makes sense because i added so many decals i'm actually really impressed on how the outside turned out to the left here we have a little working atm machine if you want to grab some cash before heading inside you can and then to the right we have a few outdoor seats also these posters turned out so good by the way i'm just looking at them now for the first time and i'm just like <gasps> I love them. The only time it messes up is when you open the doors. There's just a floating poster, but you know what? We ignore that. Out of sight, out of mind.
out of sight, out of mind. Now this is where the fun begins. So when we come inside, to the right we have all of the food. As you can see, we literally have like Nutella, corn dogs, soft drinks, pop tarts, sour patch kids. We've got everything. And then moving on, this is kind of where all the refrigerators are. So if you want to grab a cold drink, you can. And then this is my favorite section of the 7-Eleven, the coffee station. So if this was our coffee machine, what we do is let's say we want a pumpkin spice latte. We get it, we put it here. Add our sugar, our coffee, we've got our cups, straws, everything. This is so cool. We've literally got everything we need for our coffee station. And if we don't like the coffee, guess what? We've got a bin right here and we can just throw it away. Oh my God, wait, what? Apparently if you throw things away, it actually fills it up. Last time I remember, I threw out a coffee, not a banana, but. And then coming even further back, we have another drinking station where we have all of our soft drinks. Straws literally not even touching my mouth. It's like in my nostrils, right? What? Okay. And then here we have the restroom. So we have the disabled toilet. Next to the disabled toilet, we just have the communal bathroom. I really need to start placing my doors on properly. I don't, it always does this. It's so annoying. The only toilet I can properly sit down on is this one. And then coming to the left here, we have some more storage units, a bunch of more food options, literally so many American foods as well. Like we've got Chips Ahoy, Cheez-Its, Pop-Tarts, Lucky Charms, this guy from Zootopia. And behind this is all our bathroom products. And my personal favorite, the slushy station, where we have five flavors of slushies. My personal favorite is always Coca-Cola, let's be honest. Like if you do not drink Coca-Cola slushies, then what are you doing? And lastly, we've got the back counter. So to get through here, we've got to go through this little secret door, make our way through the hallway, and then we are at the back here where we can serve all of our customers. And to the back here, we even have a storage unit where all our supplies come in. I think the garage door here was actually such a good idea because like they can just drop off all the supplies into the storage unit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building a 7-Eleven in Bloxburg. Make sure to comment what you guys want me to build next and I will see you in the next one. Bye!